volunteers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, you know, if we come back to what we're doing here, like this action, okay, what's nice about this? It gives me this action. Now, what that does is it takes away any his ability to resist the technique because he doesn't know I'm doing it. So what you're doing is we call it chambering the technique. Okay, and chamber the technique into something else. Now, say I lose this one here, like I've got this one here too. All right? Um, off this thing, I come in here, I've got this. Oh, there's the arm bar because that was the one I want to do. I might have thought wrist lock, I got arm bar. Okay? Stuff like this. So again, when you get comfortable grappling, oh, there's a finger lock. Okay? And stuff like that. I can switch it up. Maybe. Whoop. So what we call is stringing techniques together, because why am I stringing the techniques together? Because he's resisting the technique, okay? Now in a couple of years, if you train diligently, you'll be able to do that, okay? Um, and the whole bit. Now immediately, what, so, when you come from, boom, okay, hit. That gives you something. So the action's already there. So I can, you know, so already showed you this part, okay? I can tap Cameron, in, in old, and this is old jujitsu. don't get me wrong, it's a, a temi. It was there long before Yeshiva made everything soft and passive, okay? And stuff like that. So again, but also what I'm doing here is I'm still controlling the arms. Because he's stupid enough to give them to me, okay? Now, for example, you've done it here. If he's grabbing onto my shirt, same idea. Because it's nice that people give you their hands, you follow? Okay? So once you understand the technique, it goes wherever you want it to go. 